Welcome to Two Minute Neuroscience, where I simplistically explain neuroscience topics in two minutes or less. In this installment, I will discuss the cerebellum. Cerebellum is Latin for little brain, and the cerebellum does look like a miniature version of the brain as it protrudes from under the posterior and inferior region of the cerebral cortex. Although the cerebellum has many functions, it is primarily associated with movement. Specifically, it seems to be involved with facilitating movement by detecting errors that occur in the course of a movement and correcting them, so the movement appears fluid and achieves its intended goal. The cerebellum is also involved with motor learning to reduce the likelihood errors in movement will occur again in the future. The cerebellum consists of two cerebellar hemispheres and can be divided into three parts. The cerebrocerebellum receives input from the cerebral cortex and is involved with planning and initiating movements. The spinal cerebellum receives information about limb position and touch and pressure sensations from the spinal cord. The spinal cerebellum uses this information, for example, to compare where a limb is in space with where it should be if the movement were going as planned. If there is a discrepancy, the spinal cerebellum can modify motor signals to correct any errors in the movement. The vermis is the area of the spinal cerebellum that runs along the midline of the cerebellum. It is involved with posture, limb movement, and eye movements. The vestibulocerebellum, also called the floccular nodular lobe, is important to maintain the equilibrium, balance, and posture. The cerebellum communicates with the rest of the nervous system through three large pathways called the cerebellar peduncles, which include the superior, middle, and inferior cerebellar peduncles. When information is sent to the cerebellum, it takes an indirect path to reach extensively branched cells called Purkinje cells. These cells then project to a group of nuclei in the center of the cerebellum called the deep cerebellar nuclei. The deep cerebellar nuclei send the information to various areas in the brain stem and thalamus that then can influence motor areas of the cortex or descending motor tracts to modify movements.